Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use conditional rendering in Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. Conditional rendering is found on the Extras tab of both columns and containers in Avada. In future releases, it may be added to more elements, but having it in these two elements allows virtually any usage you could imagine. It should be noted that this is quite different from the element visibility options found in many elements. With conditional rendering, instead of just being hidden, the targeted section does not get rendered at all in the code, making for a leaner code base. There are many uses for conditional rendering, so let's look at a few examples. I'll start with a simple one. Here on the eBike pre-built, I have the header layout section open, and I have disabled the preview for conditional rendering builder preference so we can see all header content. As you can see here, there are three containers in all. Each of them has conditional rendering applied to determine in which situations they are rendered. So if I edit the top container and go to the Extras tab, we can see there is device type rendering applied, and if I edit it, it says this will render when the device is equal to desktop. The second container also has device type conditional rendering, and this one says to render if the device is equal to mobile or tablet. And the third container has again device type conditional rendering applied, and this time it only renders for desktop. So the upshot of all that is that on desktop the first and the third container will render in the header, and on tablet and mobile only the second container will render. If I just turn the enable preview for conditional rendering preference back on, and then refresh, we can see two containers on desktop, and now if I switch over to the medium screen or mobile, there is only the one. So there's an example of using conditional rendering in a header layout section to display different containers for different screen sizes. This is a great way to design responsive headers for your Avada website. Okay, now let's look at an example in regular page content. On the home page here, and just down a bit, I'm going to add three separate containers. One will only render if the user is not logged in, the second will only render if they are logged in, and the third will only render if they have previously purchased something in the shop i.e. their user role as a customer on the site. I'll just add all three containers here from the library where I've saved them. I'll add the offers logged out first, and then the offer logged in, and then the offer customer container last. Okay, so presently there is no conditional rendering on these containers and so all three would display on the front end. Let's change that. For the first one, I want this only to show if the user is not logged in. I'll edit the container and head to the Extras tab, and here under Conditional Rendering, I'll click on the Add New Logic button. Okay, so here we can see a conditional rendering statement. To start, I need to select a condition type, and as you can see here, there are quite a few to choose from. There are all the core condition types, and then because this pre-built uses WooCommerce, there are also a number of condition types relevant for products and shops. So depending on your installed plugins, there will be further condition types available in the conditional rendering options. For this first container, I just want to select User State. For a full list of all the condition types, please see the How to Use Conditional Rendering in Avada doc, link below. Ok, so once I've chosen the condition type, I now need to choose my relational operator. This connects the condition type to the condition value. For this logic statement, I want it to be equal. Finally, for the value, I want that to be logged out. So this conditional rendering says to render the container if the user state is equal to logged out. As I'm logged in, this now won't render on the front end. This is not the same as being hidden, the container simply won't render at all. Ok, so now to our second container. Let's say our user has now registered on the site. So now I want this second container to replace the first one when the user is logged in, but only if they are not a customer yet. So I will edit this container and head to the Extras tab, and this time I need to create two conditional statements. The first one is that I want the user state to be equal to logged in. I'll leave the connective as and, and now I'll add a second conditional statement. This one has to be that the user role is not equal to customer. So all up, this says render the container if the user is logged in, but they haven't purchased anything yet. Yeah, that should do it. So these users will see the second container, and the first one won't render at all. Now what if they are a customer? Well then when they are logged in and visit this page, I want them to see the third container. So again, I'll edit the container, head to the Extras tab, and click on Add New Logic. 
This time I will choose the user role as the condition type, equal to as the relational operator, and customer as the value. I don't have to add a statement to see if they are logged in, as the conditional statement I have already added can't be true if they are not logged in. So that sorts itself out. OK, that's it. Let's save this page and go look at how it works on the front end. I've logged out of the site now, and so here on the page we can see the first container, but not the second or the third. Now if I log in here as a user who has registered but hasn't purchased anything yet, let's see what happens. OK, so now the second container is visible, and the first and third are not. Perfect. So now if I make a purchase and then refresh the home page, this time the third container loads and I have access to the 20% coupon code. OK, these are just a few examples of what you can do with conditional rendering. You can also use conditional rendering with posts, products, events, and even ACF fields. With some forethought and creativity, there is almost no end to the ways you could use this feature on your site. OK, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.